Sub-Zero is a staple character in the Mortal Kombat franchise and he's really no different in Mortal Kombat 1. After playing Mortal Kombat 1, the stress test for more than a few hours, I'm here to tell you and show you what to expect when playing Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna, gonna sugarcoat it. This is probably gonna be a quick video because honestly, Sub Zero is your good old fashioned Sub Zero. We have the Ice Clone, we have the Ice Ball, which quick small note: the Ice Ball is is just so slow. It takes forever to come out, so it's not as aggressive as you might want, but still, it's there. We have the Ice Clone, the Ice Ball, and the Ice Slide. As always, they try to mix it up a little bit and give you some new special moves we haven't seen before, which are great. But you really get the hang of them pretty fast because it's just it's just Sub Zero. That's just what he does. With the Ice Ball being a bit slower than we're used to the ice clone is your best option because you can enhance it both on the ground and in the air you can do it in combos especially in the corner so your ice clone is going to be your best bet to really freeze your opponent but you're playing sub-zero so you're going to do really what you want the enhanced ice ball is great because it beats other projectiles and goes through them but there's not much more to say when it comes to sub-zero because he's just good old sub-zero if you like a fast-paced rush down freeze him character well then you're going to love mortal kombat 1 sub-zero version i'm not going to lie to you even though sub-zero is you know based except zero we've seen him forever he still had a lot of awesome mix-ups in his kit that allowed us to go overhead lows really mix up our opponent great pops up great air combos so many great things that honestly i feel like other characters didn't have that great of variety as he did i'm not a big sub-zero fan of myself like i like sub-zero sure but i've never mained him before and i'm not gonna lie to you he felt really good in mortal kombat 1 i could see why he might get nerfed or whatever but but at the end of the day he's still sub-zero you're still good your, your main goal your win condition is you you know punishing your opponent freezing them when you can to get a free combo off and just mixing them up like crazy with lows and overheads and getting those pop-ups it's just it's just honestly it's just typical good old-fashioned sub-zero if you've ever played sub-zero before even if you've ever tried him before you're gonna love this new sub-zero in mortal kombat 1 i hate to say it there's just not much more to say there's no hidden agendas there's no crazy things going on with sub-zero they kept it simple they kept the base they kept tradition and kept sub-zero as he is and as we all love mass so you kind of already know what to expect going and playing him i don't know man these are just my thoughts i know it's quick and simple and easy to the point but let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of sub-zero in mortal kombat 1 do you like him do you hate him what would you change what would you not change again let me know down below in your fighting game journey take it one step at a time and i will see you in the next one